In this video, we'll show you how to upgrade the firmware of your router. The first thing you need to look for is the model number. The model number can be found on a sticker on the bottom of the router. Once you know the model number, you can go online and download the latest version of firmware we have posted on our website. First, open an internet browser such as Google Chrome. In the address bar at the top, type mediabridgeproducts.com and click enter. Once you get to the website, you can search for the model number in the upper right corner, or you can browse to the router's listing page using the categories on the left. Remember, we found the model number on the bottom of the router earlier. Find your model in the list and click it. Then scroll down, and at the bottom of the page you'll see Firmware listed. Click that link and your computer will begin downloading the compressed folder. Once it's downloaded, open your Downloads folder. Right-click on the folder you've just downloaded and click Extract All. If you do not see an option to extract the files, you'll need to download a free program called WinZip or something similar. Make sure you know where the folder is being saved. Save it to somewhere you can easily find, such as your desktop. Then click Extract. Once the files are extracted, you can open the read first PDF file to follow along with the steps that are in this video. Next, connect your computer to the router using an Ethernet cable to one of the yellow LAN ports on the router. Please note that you must have your computer wired to the router during the firmware upgrade or you can harm the router. Once you have your computer connected to the router with an Ethernet cable, Open an internet browser and type in the address bar 192.168.8.1 and click enter. Enter the username and password, which are both admin, A-D-M-I-N, in all lowercase letters by default. Then click Advanced Settings, select System Tools, and then Backup and Restore. Click Backup to save the router's configurations to somewhere in your computer that you can easily find, such as your desktop. Next, click Firmware, then click Choose File, then select the .bin file that you've already downloaded and extracted in your Downloads folder. Please keep in mind that if you have not extracted the files, this will not work. You must extract the files for this upgrade to work properly. Click Upgrade and then click OK. The router will begin to reboot. After the router is done rebooting, you will need to empty the cache of the browser so that the new firmware displays correctly. For Google Chrome, go to the stack lines in the upper right corner. Select Settings. Scroll down and select Show Advanced Settings. Then click Clear Browsing Data. Make sure the time is set to the beginning of time, and make sure cached images and files is checked. Click Clear Browsing Data again, and that will clear the cache for Chrome. For Mozilla Firefox, click the stacked lines in the upper right corner, then select Options, Advanced, click Clear Now, and click OK. For Internet Explorer, click the gear in the upper right corner, select Internet Options, click Delete, and make sure Temporary Internet Files and Website Files is checked. Click OK when you're finished. Once the cache is cleared in your browser, hit F5 on the keyboard to refresh the page. Press and hold the button on the back of the router for 10 seconds to reset the router to factory settings and to put the firmware changes into effect. Now to restore the settings to the router, log back into the router at 192.168.8.1 and use admin for both the username and password. Click Advanced Settings, then System Tools, then click Backup Restore, and choose File. 
find your router configuration file that you saved earlier. Click Open. Then click Restore. And click OK to start to reboot the router. Once the router is finished rebooting, log back into the router, click Advanced Settings, and then check the firmware version to verify the upgrade was successful. If the firmware upgrade was not successful, please make sure you've done all of the following. Make sure you unzipped or extracted the files before you did the upgrade. Make sure you've emptied the cache in your browser. And make sure you've reset the router to factory settings. Failing to do any one of those things would result in not seeing the correctly upgraded firmware version listed in the router. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to give us a call or send us an email. Thanks for choosing MediaBridge.